Hello and welcome to the MMA Live Chat Show. I'm Rich Davy and it's Tuesday, November 18th, 2014. On today's show, I'll be discussing the Tough 20 Episode 9 show that will be featuring the matchup between Felice Herrig and Randa Marcos. And I'll also talk about a couple of other things that I've noticed about uh, this matchup that I've seen out there on the internet, such as hints, clues, and a rumor that is floating around about the potential outcome of this fight. Okay, getting started. The Tough 20 Episode 9 show that will be featuring the matchup between Felice Herrig and Randa Marcos takes place Wednesday, November 19th, 2014, and will air on the Fox Sports 1 network at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. This is the first quarterfinal fight of the season of Tough, and it should be an interesting fight. Taking a look at the two ladies fighting in this episode, Felice Herrig is 30 years old and hails from the USA. She has a record of nine wins and five losses and was ranked number six in the first episode of the season. Felice Herrig defeated number 11 ranked Heather Jo Clark in her first fight on this season of Tough to move on in the tournament to face Randa Marcos. Felice Herrig has one win by TKO, two wins by submission, and six wins by decision. All five of Felice Herrig's losses are by decision. And Felice Herrig is likely the favorite to win this matchup since she is the higher-ranked fighter um, from episode one of the show. Okay, moving on to Randa Marcos. Randa Marcos is 29 years old and hails from Canada. She has a record of four wins and one loss and was ranked number 14 in the first episode of the season. Randa Marcos defeated one of the top-ranked fighters in her first fight on this season of Tough to move on in the tournament to face Felice Herrig, and that fight was against the number three-ranked Tisha Torres. Randa Marcos has three wins by submission and one by way of decision. In her loss column, Randa Marcos only has one loss, and that is by way of decision, and that loss happens to be against one of the fighters that is also on this season of Tough but was forced to drop out of the competition due to an injury. And that, of course, would be Justine Kish. Uh, Now moving on from my prediction on how this matchup will end here. Uh, Going completely outside of the skills of these two fighters, there are several reasons that make me think Randa Marcos might win the first quarterfinal fight of the season against Felice Herrig. Number one, Carlos Sparza expressed in an interview before the Tough 20 season aired that she had a problem with Randa Marcos. Number two, the Carlos Sparza issue with Randa Marcos was evident in the Tough 20 episode 9 teaser. And I think those two things um, not only have to do with some bad blood that Esparza has for Marcos, but I think that bad blood might have something to do with Marcos defeating Herrig in the episode 9 show, because we all know that Felice Herrig is Carla's BFF. (laughs) So I, I, I think that's probably one of the reasons why Carla may have some bad blood for her and, uh, you know, said some of the things she said about her. Number four. In one of the Tough 20 season teasers, we saw Felice Herrig crying in one of the gym scenes, and she was being consoled by one of the other girls. I don't exactly recall seeing that scene on the show just yet, so I might have missed that scene, and it may in fact be the scene that was going to air after the episode on Wednesday. Number five. After the episode eight show, Tisha Torres was asked on the Tough Talk show who she thought was the most overrated fighter and the most underrated fighter in the tough house. And Tisha said that Randa Marcos is most definitely underrated and should not have been ranked number 14 in the first episode. Now, that could be due to the fact that Randa Marcos defeated Tisha Torres in the first fight of the season, but it might also have something to do with the potential outcome of the fight between Herring and Marcos. You know, the girls aren't supposed to talk about you know, too much of the uh, information on the show there. I guess they're allowed to speak about anything that happened up until the point where they're interviewed on, you know, the tough talk shows. But, you know, anything after that, they've got to be really, you know, kind of cautious as to what they say. And I also saw 
something else. This will be item number six. Uh, I saw a couple of comments by fans out there on the internet that are claiming that Randa has leaked to her friends that she beat Felice Herrig in this fight. And if that did in fact happen, that might be a bit of a problem for Randa since the fighters on tough have to agree to a confidentiality agreement. But I have no idea if those rumors are true or not because it looks like uh, they came from a couple of Felice Herrig's haters. So take that with a grain of salt. But, you know, all those little things there kind of leads me to believe that maybe there is, in fact, something to all those little hints and the rumor that's going around out there about Miranda possibly beating police on the show. Um, it also seems to me that there's some bad blood between Felice and Randa. Initially, Felice didn't really say that she had a problem with Randa, but in the teasers for this week's show, we see that... Uh, Police does, in fact, have some animosity towards Randa. And Randa also said that she doesn't hate police, but she just doesn't like her. So, you know, probably these two ladies are going to go at it pretty hard. And uh, I think with, you know, that underlying animosity between the two of them, they're probably going to want to make a statement. They're probably going to go at it pretty hard. Um, you know, like I said, <clears throat> They're probably going to be looking for a finisher, but I'm not quite sure that's going to happen. Um, I don't know. I want to pick Felice to win because I do like Felice. Um, but with all the little hints and clues that seem to be floating around the internet, I'm also tempted to pick Randa Marcos to win as well. Um, so I don't know here. Um, the last couple of times that I speculated on things like the apparent clues that I thought were obvious, I wound up on the wrong side of the outcome of the fights. Uh, I thought that Angela Hill would defeat Carlos Spars would be the Carlos uncertain mindset just before their fight and the fact that she hadn't fought in a little bit. And I thought that Angela was going to be a little bit more aggressive than she was, but apparently that didn't pan out because uh, Carla did in fact uh, defeat Angela Hill. And I also thought that Tisha Torres would lose to Beck Rawlings due to the injury that she was complaining about on the Tough Talk show that aired after episode one, um, where she said she had a, a shoulder injury or something to that effect. And, you know, I just thought maybe that uh, that injury, if it was in fact legitimate, that it probably wasn't able to completely heal 100%. But then again, too, in the fight between uh, Torres and Rawlings there. In fact, Rawlings didn't really come out quite as, as aggressive as I expected she might. Um, she did try to utilize her height and reach advantage, but uh, she just didn't, you know, press the action. And, you know, Tisha had no problem moving in and out, scoring points, and basically outpointed her. So, uh, yeah, a couple of times where I thought I saw some clues there that were wrong. So, Take all of that that I said with a grain of salt there as far as the clues and the tips and the potential rumor out there. Um, because I think I'm going to go ahead and ignore all of the rumors and hints this time around rather than take that chance because, uh, I don't know, I think Felice has a good chance to beat Randa Marco. So if the fight does in fact go to a decision, I think, you know, looking at their past records and uh, – you know, the fights that they've had. Uh, I think a decision favors Felice Herrig. So, I'm going to ignore all those rumors, and I'm going to pick Felice Herrig to win by decision. Okay. Also, on the Tough 20 Episode 9 show, we will be having the Coaches Challenge. And from the episode 9 teaser, we see that the coach's challenge will be a game of trivia. So that should be a little interesting, a little different. I don't think they've ever done anything like that before on the show. So it should be fun to watch that as well. Um, I'm sure the drama is going to continue. Uh, they still have a problem with Tisha Torres being in uh, the room from uh, Team Melendez. So I don't know if that's going to happen because Tisha did say she was going to leave the room after the fight so maybe that will in fact happen and they were also after um having joe clark to move out of team melendez's quarters as well which you know it doesn't make sense really i mean big deal she helped tisha torres you know cutting some weight but 
you know, to force out one of your teammates to go to the other, the other team there just because you don't like her and the fact that she helped one of, you know, your, your, your team members, basically. Um, Tisha Torres, as you all know, she was eliminated in the first fight of the season against Randa Marcos, came back in to fill the void that was left by Justine Kish. And in that process, <clears throat> she went from Team Melendez over to Team Pettis. So, you know, can you really blame Heather Joe Clark for helping Tisha Torres cutting weight since they were, in fact, teammates at one point? Um, so, you know, it'd be nice to see all of the, the caddy drama end there because it is getting a little tiresome. I, I see a lot of people complaining about it. Um, so maybe it'd be nice to see the girls stop bickering with, you know, high school girls. You know, it's, it, it's kind of bewildering to see that sort of childish high school mentality from women that are supposed to be professional MMA fighters and, and they're grown adults as well. So be nice to see all that come to an end. So maybe uh, Tisha will move this week and also maybe Heather Joe Clark will move out of Team Melendez's quarters as well. Okay, <clears throat> that's it for now. I want to thank you all for listening to our Tough 20 uh, preview and recap series that we've been doing on the MMA Live chat show. And if you'd like to join us on the show to chat about some MMA, talk about the Tough 20 season, or give your MMA fight predictions, or join us on, on one of the post-event shows that we do, we'd love to have you join us. Just go over to the MMA chat forums where we plan the shows, create an account, and let us know that you'd like to join us so we can give you access to the area of the site where we plan and coordinate the shows. The link to the forums is in the description of the video. And you can also find our other social networking links there as well. Thanks again for listening, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. And it should be an interesting fight. Taking a look at the two ladies fighting in this episode, Felice Herrig is 30 years old and hails from the USA. She has a record of nine wins and five losses. And and was ranked number six in the first episode of the season. Felice Herrig defeated number 11. Hello and welcome to the MMA Live chat show. I'm Rich Davey and it's Tuesday, November 18th, 2014. On today's show, I'll be discussing the Tough 20 Episode 9 show that will be featuring the match 11 ranked Heather Jo Clark in her first fight on this season of Tough to move on in the tournament to face Randa Marcos. Felice Herrick has one win by TKO, two wins by submission, and six wins by decision. All five of Felice Herrick's losses are by decision, but between Felice Herrick and Randa Marcos. And I'll also talk about a couple of other things that I've noticed about uh, this matchup that I've seen out there on the internet, such as hints, clues, and a rumor that is floating around about the potential outcome of this fight. Okay, getting started. The Tough 20 Episode 9 show that will be featuring the matchup between Felice Herrig and Randa Marcos takes place Wednesday, November 19th, 2014 and will air on the Fox Sports 1 network at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. This is the first quarterfinal fight of the season of Tough, 